so once you write the code for navbar so we will be writing the code for home page to display the user information so for that just go into this home.js in pages and here let me just create one functional component so for that just type rfc so this will create the functional component and we will just keep the name as default home and inside here so i want to create one table so for that we will be using the bootstrap so before that we just want to create one container inside this div so for that just type class name and just keep container and also i just want to give the padding top of four so let me just clear this home first and inside here i just want to type div and just type class name and just type py4 for margin top and inside here i will be writing the code for table so for that we will be grabbing the code from bootstrap so for that just go into bootstrap here and source for table and let me just choose the first one so let me just click here to copy to clipboard and let me just paste it inside here so once you do that so you just need to make sure to change this class into class name so for that just type name name so let me just save this one so this will auto format this one and now we just want to import this home into this app.js so for that just go into app.js and inside here let me just type home slash so this is automatically imported inside here so if you are not able to get up auto import so you can directly write this one manually so once you do that so if i just go into the react application so you can see the table has been displayed in our home page so now i just want to give some styling inside this home.js table so let me just go into this class name table and let me give some of the styling here so for that just type border so this will basically give the border into this table and i just want to make it look like shadow also so you can see the table is looking fine now